guys i'm rahul aire back again with another video and this in this today video i just want to really discuss something about uh, javascript uh, and its core essence essentiality and uh, why it is really popular out there so i was just kind of really developing an app so it just uh, thought arose my mind that hey uh, there are really many other uh, great tutorials out there on how to learn javascript but what is the core essence of javascript like what actually javascript is meant for like uh, suppose uh, for the machine level languages and the core hardware personality or the low level language structure generally c or c++ is really used like into for developing the high performance native desktop application making games making etc and all that kind of thing so and we also really know that like uh, what the javascript is also uh, we are not going to di di dive deeply about uh, what's the history of javascript is actually uh, there are other pretty bunch of videos out there you can just search on youtube as well as on the uh, search engine like google or dr go etc so in this video we are just really going to really uh, just talk about uh, what is actually the one thing whether you should really uh, consider while really learning the JavaScript because when you whenever you try to really just kind of learn something out there uh, you just actually just kind of uh, went lost and just try to discover something else so as we really know that the JavaScript is a interactive language it really it makes us to kind of really um, make the uh, web page uh, interactive like you know it's like uh, just with a bare HTML and CSS, the website doesn't look that doesn't look like like sexy or something like that. But when you really add a functionality to the JavaScript, it becomes so good and it makes our life so easy. And what essentially the JavaScript allow is to do is like we can really uh, make the UI interactive, make the things really happen, everything and all that kind of stuff. You can really add whatever functionality you really uh, ever know what it is. And you can really able to send a request to the server and that kind of thing. So the JavaScript essentially is really divided into three steps. First one is basics. Now, what do you mean by basics? Like uh, every uh, language just has uh, something like going through the basic structure. Like you, when you first learn the syntax, when you first learn the history, when you first learn the why it was created, and then it, you really start to like uh, loop, function, arrays, closures, and all that kind of thing, which is fine. Like you really learn, which is essentially founding step uh, for to learn any other languages. The second one is like DOM manipulation. Now, what do you mean by DOM manipulation? Uh, essentially, the whole purpose of JavaScript is to really uh, make web page interactivable. Like uh, the DOM really essentially does kind of really make a and make an important part of it and really does contribute into the like I would really rather say like the 60 70 percent uh, majority of the thing in the JavaScript so whether you really want to like image slider you can just use a DOM manipulation whether you want a hamburger menu icon just use a DOM manipulation whether you want to really switch on something else or whether you want to change the CSS styling just use the DOM manipulation uh, whether you now what do you really mean by DOM manipulation like uh, suppose you have really gone through the uh, basic uh, like JavaScript then you will know that uh, we can really use the uh, DOM model like document get element by ID or get element by class name and then we can really just tell that to do something function and then it really gives us the result and something all that kind of thing and the second one is like event listener and there are bunch of other thing as well like the web apis and all that kind of thing so which we are really going to get to it now so and the third thing is like uh like and third essential feature and the third essential core functionality is just to like send the request so what's the point of making a web app which can't really uh, really interact dynamically with the server like so uh, as usually we have the fetch api we have uh, that can really helps uh, that really helps the front end user to really send the data to the uh, to really perform all the rest feature like put patch delete what's other 
put patch, delete, and other something like okay. Uh, basically, other all the other every CRUD operation to the server out there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so and and there is and yeah. So and the next thing is the uh, called the exist library, which is a much more step down further because it really provide it really is based on the promise and async await uh, kind of thing, but now the main issue or the question really arises like why javascript is so popular like you know why any other languages so the answer is pretty simple uh, earlier days in earlier like laid back to previous uh, previously before 2010 uh, before the node.js was born it was not really that essential kind of a top five languages top 10 languages or something like that it was really important language, but it was not that kind of thing. But after this guy, the name as Ryan Dahl, who really invented or who is really the creator of the Node.js. So what as what actually essentially he uh, did is like, so there is actually a called a V8 uh, JavaScript engine in a Chrome uh, browser. He essentially, which is an open source project by Google, he essentially took that and combined it with a C uh, with a C engine and just like sandwich together and boom the node.js was really created and after that it really just blew up into the so much of the thing that javascript is pretty much everywhere that you can really imagine right now it's like you can obviously use in the web browser as well you can uh, really use in a bunch of uh, like mobile apps uh, you can use the native desktop apps like electron js and uh, you can really there and the npm library npm register library which is the world's largest software register library it has more than millions of packages out there and and obviously like when you just provide so much comfort to the developer like you like just like a swiss army knife of all all the thing like a one language for all your needs then it really makes our life pretty much easier so that is the kind of a reason that uh, like it is the number number one number two like you know like Python and JavaScript are always really fighting for the number one positions out there. So I just want to really just tell that that yes the uh, the core essential features of the JavaScript is like if you want to really learn in the quick time that the number one is basics number two is DOM manipulation and number three is like uh, handling with the web APIs or sending sending or uh, uh, handling requests so and that kind of thing so and you can really plan out your whole structure in this based on this three principle out there so by following this principle out there uh, you can really save much of your time like uh, like going through various courses out there and really uh, just really skipping one tutorial from other uh, and really just kind of really uh, invest your valuable time in just one specific aspect like right? It really happens sometimes like uh, when you really learn the HTML JavaScript like yeah that, it's like it's so easy like I'm just really kind of really getting through it and when you start to JavaScript oh man that's so tough like why am I so getting stuck so essentially uh, you really just need to understand these three principles and just really kind of getting uh, and you just really kind of really follow any any of your favorite instructor or basically right may, maybe it is Travel C Media, whether it's Free Code Cam, whether it's DevEd, whether it's Web Dev Simplified, whether it's Academy, whether it's anything, anything what you like. Uh, or, uh, and yeah, this was it, guys. Like, I just want to tell something about it. So, if you have really liked this video, consider subscribing to this channel. And also, I just forgot to tell you one thing that in this channel, I'm really making a series on Face Mash. That, yeah, that's Face Mash that Mark Zuckerberg made in his Harvard. So if you are really interested in just uh, following uh, like how the actually real uh, projects are made and getting and just getting out of the tutorial hell then consider subscribing to this channel you are really getting you are really gonna see an awesome stuff on this channel so till then stay connected and if you have any question queries comment just answer just leave it down in the comment section below and make sure to follow me on instagram because uh, each time that i really make a video i really just send a previous notification on my instagram stories so that you can really get notified earlier so till then thanks for watching stay connected and have a nice day